Good morning, guys. Happy Flex Friday. Wow, so it has been kind of a cool month for me. Um, you guys have seen me posting about the whole 30, and I finished that, and really just loved my results from that. Um, although I, you know, wished that uh, I, I got more results, um, it was it was slight, but it was um, results nonetheless. It was kind of what I was expecting. Um, I, I guess I don't really feel like I have a ton of weight to drop at this point, but I'm more looking for definition and, and that. And so I'm still working really hard to find the right combination of cardio, strength training, and the most important part, my nutrition. So I'm really, really trying to fine tune that. And, um, you know, I, I think a lot of times um, I get caught up with um, images of um, other people that I see that um, just have an amazing bodies and amazing six packs and I've been at this so long why isn't it happening for me and um, you know the goals that I have why aren't they being realized quick more quicker you know at this point and I think that um, you know the one thing that it boils down to is that no two people are alike and everybody's different and it really you know got me thinking about um, you guys and um, you know members in our groups and how we're so quick to compare ourselves to somebody else um, you know don't compare your chapter one to somebody else's chapter 20 right we always say that um, and it's true because you don't know what the other person has been up to, how long they've been doing it, what they're doing uh, to get the results that you're seeing. Um, you know, there are a lot of cases where people are, are doing extreme um, measures to get to where they want to be. Um, you know, and the question then becomes, is that sustainable? Um, people that work really hard to to be in competitions, fitness competitions, bodybuilding competitions. Um, that lifestyle is not sustainable after they're done competing. I've seen so many people um, afterwards just poof back up because they just they can't con con continually you know eat that way, work out that way. Um, it's just not real um, for a healthy and fit lifestyle. So I have to stop myself and say, you know, what is what is right for me, where I want to be. Um, you know, maybe I do have lofty goals, but maybe also my body is not meant to have a six pack. Maybe I'm just meant to have a flat two lines or a two pack or, you know, everybody's different under there too. Once you, once you get to that point where you start to see your abs, you might not have six, you might not have four, you might not have any. Um, that's just the way that God made you. So, um, again, we're not comparing our chapter ones to somebody else's chapter 20, right? We're all individual. We all have our own needs. Um, we're all special in our own way. So continue to work hard. Don't get discouraged by other images that you see, other people that you see, your friends that might be in a different position than you. Um, Consistency is going to be the key, planning, um, all those things to achieve your healthy and fit lifestyle. This is permanent, right? This is our permanent life. We're not out there. It's not a race to see who can be skinny first or who can get big muscles first. Um, this is just life. This is our life, and you want to be healthy and fit. So that's my little um, you know, tip going into the weekend. Um, I hope everybody has an amazing weekend with their, their friends and their family and be successful be successful for you nobody else okay see you guys